Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation, the most radical coin redesign initiative in U.S. history is now law. Let's explore! You may remember back in August of 2019, I covered a story from Coin World about uh, legislation that was in the House of Representatives that was talking about a, a quite a, an initiative to redesign the quarters for another series and other initiatives that could have sparked from that. I was a little hesitant as to how much of that would actually become law. Well, turns out a lot of it is. In fact, even more things that I didn't know about. This is again coming to us from Coin World, and I saw this story was was hesitant to do a video on it because a lot of it is still not very clear in my mind, at least, as to what this is about. But it was signed by uh, President Trump on January the 13th. And it is a redesign initiative to begin in 2022, includes provisions for coins succeeding the 56 coin America the Beautiful Quarters program, which concluded this year with the release of the Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site quarter dollar for Alabama. We are going to get 19th Amendment quarters, and this is where the confusion begins. And the Circulating Collectible Coin Redesign Act of 2020 directs the Treasury Department through the U.S. Mint to mint and issue quarter dollar coins in commemoration of the ratification of the 19th Amendment granting women the right to vote. The design on the reverse of each coin shall be emblematic of the accomplishments and contributions of a prominent woman who is a resident of a state, the District of Columbia, or a U.S. territory. Now, to me, that sounds like we're going to go through another 56 coins, uh, another long, drawn-out program for women, uh, prominent women, of, and their accomplishments in each one of those states or territories. To me, another one of those 10, 11-year programs is going to be quite daunting and tiresome for collectors that are probably already eyes glazed over after the America the Beautiful Quarter program, which is going to be ending. Such coins shall be issued in alphabetical order of the area represented, uh, starting with the state of Alabama. Treasury shall initiate a program to promote collection of the coins and recognition of their subjects. The coins will be issued in copper nickel clad and 999 fine compositions and in different finishes to include proof and uncirculated for numismatic products. Um, so uh, this talks about how this there's not a lot of detail here because it also says that there's other aspects of this program that have um, five reverse designs annually featuring prominent American women on quarter dollars from 2022 to 2025. Hardly enough time and designs to make up those 56 states and territories. Then up to five reverse designs on quarter dollars celebrating the semi-quincentennial with one of the designs to depict women. All circulating coins, the cent, five cent coin, dime, half dollar, and dollar will have a redesign of reverse and obverse for the 250th anniversary in 2026. And, uh, you know, I can't help but think this is more political correctness, though, to in insert feminist uh, type icons in there, but that's another story. Up to five reverse designs of youth sports on quarter dollars and one reverse design of Paralympic sports on half dollar annually from 2027 to 2030. And then the authorization to be able to design and strike U.S. Olympic medals. So this is interesting, but it doesn't tell us the whole story. It wasn't until I saw a video from Son of the Silver Stacker about this story from Coin Update, and he covered this pretty comprehensively, but I'm going to get into it with a little bit more depth, talking about this Circulating Collectible Coinage Redesign Act of 2020. And uh, this is talking about more in-depth about the prominent women. Directing the Treasury Department through the U.S. Mint to mint and issue quarter-dollar coins in commemoration of the ratification of the 19th Amendment granting women the right to vote, 
The design of the reverse of each coin shall be emblematic of the accomplishments and contributions of a prominent woman who was a resident of a state, uh, the District of Columbia or U.S. Territory, effective the 1st of January 2022 through the end of 2025. The Secretary of the Treasury shall issue quarter dollars and have designs on the reverse selected in accordance with the uh, subsection, which are emblematic of the accomplishment of a prominent American woman. The Act provides for up to five coins per year. Uh, coins will feature one prominent woman on the reverse while maintaining George Washington's likeness on the obverse and flexibility in the placement of inscriptions. Women depicted may be selected from fields and accomplishments such as suffrage, civil rights, abolition, government, um, humanity, science, space, and the arts. Dennis Tucker, who's a publisher of the Red Book um, and numismatic specialist on the Treasury Department Citizens Coin Advisory Committee, said, The new program is unique and exciting. It marks the first time Congress will use a series of circulating coins to honor prominent Americans. Uh, we have had popular quarters that celebrate the states and territories. We've had the National Park quarters. This program is different and equally historic. It will honor not only people, but specific American women. And the law mentions ethnic, racial, and geographic diversity. The opportunities are immense, are immense. But to get um, for just those few years, all those territories and limited to five per year, very confusing. Um, how that's going to work out. I don't see how that will be. And it's going to be another long program if it does stretch out and if it's running in tandem with the other programs here. Now, the 250 years of American independence, a coin and coin update, has it also a little bit more comprehensive and different. It says the issuance of redesigned circulating coins emblematic of the United States semi-quincentennial, which is the 250th anniversary um, of the Declaration of Independence, on January the 1st, 2026, for a one-year period, the Treasury Secretary may issue quarter dollars in 2026 with up to five different designs emblematic of the United States semi-quincentennial, which is really cool. I think that'll be neat. And that is something that was in the original uh, legislation, I believe, if my memory serves. One of the quarter dollar designs will be emblematic of a woman or woman's contribution to the birth of the nation or Declaration of Independence or any other monumental moments in American history. Also provided uh, for our $1 coins emblematic of the United States semi-quincentennial. The section of the legislation also allows the Treasury to redesign for the year 2026 every other circulating U.S. coin, uh, the Lincoln cent, the Jefferson five cent nickel, the Roosevelt dime, and the Kennedy half dollar. Uh, so that will be interesting to see and a massive undertaking for sure uh, for circulating coinage. The importance of this coin redesigns can't be overstated, said Tucker. The 1776-1976 bicentennial coinage opened the eyes of generations of Americans to the coins in their pocket change. The bicentennial quarter in particular embodied the ideas of circulating commemoratives in a way that no other coins had to that point. People still save them when they get them and change today more than 40 years later. So in 2026, the complete floor-to-ceiling redesign of America's coins has the potential to get millions of people looking at their small change uh, soon, and that is big, for sure. This is even bigger, and I didn't realize this. This was new to me when Son of a Silver Stacker covered this in his video. The quarter dollars and a half dollar for 2027 and beyond will get new portraits. Now, that's right. In 2027, the quarter half dollar will bear likeness of George Washington and John F. Kennedy, respectively, but not necessarily the original 1932 and 1964 likenesses by John Flanagan and Gilroy Roberts. Well, it's about time. In fact, I say we do away with presidents or any image of a person on our coins in general. Even Lady Liberty. I think the way we got to find other ways to emblematic to show liberty and things on our coins, but that's just me. This opens up the possibility of new portraits on two American coins, including the workhorse of U.S. circulating coins, the quarter dollar, said Tucker. Collectors are used to seeing new reverse designs come out in recent years, but new obverse portraits, that's a game changer. You think about it, this entire century has seen uh, quarters being designed once every um, several uh, um, months, 
you know, you're seeing a new design on the reverse of a quarter. Anybody that has been born in the year 1999 or later, if that's all they know. But now, youth sports. So this is the other part, which makes me confused about the uh, the 19th Amendment uh, uh, quarters, is these coins. From 27, 2027 and 2030, the issuance of redesigned quarter dollars and a half dollars emblematic of sports played by American youth. Uh, which is kind of an odd thing to commemorate, but anyways, effective January the 1st, 2027 through the end of 2030, quarter dollars will feature a single sport on each coin, with up to five coins per year. At the same time, half dollars will follow similar design specifications, with their sports theme focused specifically on Paralympic score sports. And uh, so there, these will be issued one per year. You got to include everybody, every single um, um, identity group. It seems like with these things, that's that's the new thing. That's what political correctness is all about. If you have kids or grandkids, you know how big this coin will be," said Tucker. Millions of American children are involved in organized sports. The twenty coins in the quarter dollar series. The hunt will be on. I can imagine kids searching their piggy banks and. Trading with their friends and the coins they need. This will be another coin program that excites collectors for generations to come. The half dollar program is a nice touch as well. A way to include young athletes of all abilities. Kudos to Congress for taking this decision. Well, you know, and I think the thing is, is you know, with sports, uh, I think in some ways that's probably good. Um, um, you know, and anything to get kids in the coin collecting, I think, is, is a bonus. Uh, but nonetheless... What's going to happen for the uh, the coins that are for the 19th Amendment coins? Uh, are they going to be running in tandem with these? It could be very confusing. Uh, I haven't looked at the original legislation. Don't really have time to go through it here now. But then there's sports medals. For every design issued for the youth sports quarters and half dollars, the Mint can design an issue of medal of, or multiple medals of the sport involved. Several of these medals can be used to fund... Uh, the designing and manufacturing of Olympic medals, see below. Medals give the mint's artists even more creative leeway than coins do. As a medal collector, I look forward to seeing the great artwork that comes out of this program, um, said Tucker. Then we have an Olympic medal. The legislation authorizes the Secretary of the Treasury to design and manufacture medals uh, for award at the 2020 Olympic Games in Los Angeles, California, which harkens back to the Commemorative Coin Act uh, started in 1982, when the very first Olympic coins from that program were from the Los Angeles Games in 1984. This is going to cloud that program with commemorative coins, which is another reason why I'm trying to find an exit plan for my collecting of these of that program because of the blurring of this uh, with this types of thing. Uh, it's just almost too much in some way. But then again, we are the United States. And we're not nothing compared to uh, the Canadian Mint that has a lot of different programs, especially, uh, and the Perth Mint as well. And uh, so this will be uh, certainly a game changer and will be uh, first for the United States Mint if it's going to be something that's uh, circulating. But it doesn't sound like this is going to be circulating. I don't know. Um, then we have five ounce and fractional silver bullion coins. Now, this is a game changer for sure. Um, and, of course, I'd like to see the, kind of the original legislation on this because there's not a whole lot here. It just says that some coins involved in the Redesign Act can be struck in 3-inch diameter with a weight of 5 ounces or 3 nines fine silver, which is mainly going to probably be the quarters like they have for the America the Beautiful series. The quarter dollars and half dollars can also be issued in fractional sizes of silver bullion coins with the same design. So that should be interesting indeed. How is fractional design? Um, how is fractional um, defined? Is it a fraction of the five ounce size, which means one ounce? Or are we talking half ounce, quarter ounce? Who knows? It'd be interesting to see how that's played out. Apparently, there's no more information on it than that, other than Tucker's commentary. It says it gives the Secretary of the Treasury authority to make these bullion coins. We'll have to wait and see what decisions the Secretary makes. But it seems likely we'll have a new suite of um, silver bullion coins in the near future. So it's up to the secretary. My guess is probably they're not going to be, if it's uh, Janet Yellen, 
I'm sure that she's going to really care a whole lot about th that aspect of it. But I could be wrong. Collectors have bought tens of thousands of the five ounce America the Beautiful silver coins every year. And these programs should be popular, if not more so. Not to be overlooked, smaller silver coins would be another fresh innovation in American bullion. Um, it encourages the treasury to develop and include unifying inscriptions, privy marks, and other symbols in the coin programs involved. It also specifically mentions efforts to advance the collecting of the coins and medals and to promote numismatics. To those ends, the Secretary may develop and execute a marketing, advertising, and promotional and educational program and seek out appropriate cooperative marketing opportunities. It authorizes the Secretary to develop ancillary derivative products beyond traditional numismatic products such as sports, women, and youth-oriented products. So it looks like there's some uh, far-reaching, very broad, uh, for sure. And uh, woo, we shall see how this plays out. And um, and it's all going to begin, really, in a sense, in 2021 with the Washington crossing the, the Delaware quarter for a single-year type. That's going to be one to collect. And uh, the, the House Bill 1923 is here. We're going to open this up and just kind of take briefly a look at it and see what it says. Uh, and it looks like there is two amendments here, but we don't want to get into it too much. We can get into the weeds with this stuff like that, but apparently it's there and we'll see how it, how it plays out. But nonetheless, this is the one that was introduced, introduced in March of uh, 2019 by Democratic, uh, Barbara Lee from California. But there it is. Fascinating indeed. So how will this play out? What does it mean for collectors and for and for fractional bull, silver bullion to be coming out uh, potentially? Um, we'll see how it all plays out. But there you have it. The most radical coin redesign initiative in U.S. history. And uh, will we have fractional silver bullion? I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, Comment and subscribe.